Hi everybody. I felt like I wanted to get another video out to you this week. I know I've been posting every Friday, but I don't know, I just felt like you guys deserved an extra treat this week. And I've actually had this one edited for a while and all that I had left to do was the voiceover. So I thought maybe I could just get this one done tonight and out to you in the morning. So I'm working on my second collage book that I made and I just watered down the page and I'm adding golden green gold paint. I like adding the water to these pages because I don't know it's just it gives it a different look and it's almost like watercolor but not and I don't know I can't explain it I just like it <laughs> so try it and if you like it do it if not then forget about it so I hear I'm taking that piece of paper that I showed you before that I just stenciled all the black lines on it so I could make my black and white striped border and I'm decided while I was trimming it that I would just do it to all the strips because I've decided that in this album every single page is going to have this black and white striped border. And here I'm taking some images from Mischief Circus and I thought I'd skip go really fast through all the cutting out because I don't think you need to see all that. And I just played with, like I knew, I knew I wanted those, I don't know if they're peas, <laughs> but I knew I wanted that to like cut into the border so it wasn't just all like stripes and blocks in the border. And then that body, which I don't end up using, but it's not from Mischief Circus, I actually cut out some bodies from um, my daughter had these old teen I don't know if it's teen beat or maybe that's back in my day teen beat maybe it's a different name it's some sort of teen magazine anyways so I went with this one of Demi Lovato and I'm pretty sure I end up covering up the face and stuff so in the end you can't tell it's her That image there, that is actually from some Art by Marlene collage papers. So you don't need to invest in buying images from Mischief Circus. I mean, I love it because I don't have an easy time finding images. And I like the quirkiness of the ones that Mischief Circus already puts out for you. And it requires a little less imagination. <laughs> I mean, people, they get the magazines and they cut out things and use images that aren't even bodies and will use it. Like a champagne glass might be a torso. Like they think of other things to do. But I don't have a lot of magazines lying around the house. I never, actually, I never buy magazines. The only time I get anything is if it comes in the mail. I don't order anything, like or go to the store and buy magazines. And I tried to once thinking like for that purpose, like I bought a magazine I wasn't even interested in, but I bought it in hopes of getting cool images and I haven't even used it. So I personally, I prefer Mischief Circus. For me, it makes it much easier. I mean, there are people out there, they just, they're awesome at not having to purchase images and just using found things. I'm not at that level. <laughs> Maybe one day, but not right now. So 
So I have my collage images sorted. Like I put all my heads and eyes in one compartment and all my legs and arms in another and a body in another and then border strips in another. Maybe when I do my room tour of my new art room, I will, I don't know if I'll do it in the overall tour or if maybe I'll do like little sections where it's more detailed. I don't know. We'll see. Because that one I guess doesn't need a whole lot of detail. It'd be quick to show you how I store some of my things. I think really my room is done. It's just, I don't know. I feel like there's these little tiny pieces that are left to do and I don't want to do them. <laughs> it's like simple things, like some things need to leave my room. Like some of it's garbage and some of it I just want to put downstairs because I don't want to get rid of it, but I don't really need it right now. Like. I'm a little container happy, so I have extra containers that I don't need, but I don't want to throw it out because you tend to always need a container for something or another. So I'm not going to toss it. But overall, I think mostly everything is done. It's just a matter of some finishing touches. I bought some plants but they're not where they need to be yet. Which is one of the things I need to do. I want to make some macrame hanging basket holder things. <laughs> and I want to do some of those. I think I want to have three. Three hanging baskets or hanging plants. So. I don't know if I'll wait until that's done before I do the video or not. But right now, I mean, I have the collaboration videos going on. So I don't want to start dealing with the room renovation videos until I have that done. Because I need to focus on getting those finished right now. And I also have something else that's coming up this month that I can't tell you about yet but it's something else that I have to get done for this month. So the room, you may not see videos of that until later in the month. And I haven't played with my gel plate in, oh goodness, way too long. It's probably been two weeks or more. That's sad. <laughs> I think it's sad anyways. Now I just noticed that I covered up, I'm calling them peas, those pictures of the peas with the straight border. I thought I wanted them going over the straight border, but I guess I messed that up. Or maybe it's just one of those things where I'm watching myself do it and thinking, you should do this. And it's not something I do. I always find that when I'm editing my videos and doing the voiceovers, it's like, oh, you should have done it this way. Or you could have stopped here. But, oh well. It is what it is. And I do like it in the end, so no worries. gotta say I do like having a dedicated brush just for Mod Podge. I really like having that because I do not want to have to use a foam brush whenever I want to use it because you would go through the brushes like crazy. And I find if you use like the rubber spatula I find 
you're applying it, but then as you do it again, you're kind of removing some of it as well. So I like the brush. It's easier to get a nice even coat and to get everything covered. So I'm just cutting a slit in that nest that I'm using for a hat. I think it's a nest. I'm using it that way anyway. And I just cut a slit so it can look like the bird is actually in the nest. Once I added that head and the eyes and the nest or hat or whatever on top of the head, once I added all of that, that hand that is up in the air started to drive me crazy. I think it's because, like I know this is just collage and it's supposed to be quirky and far from realistic, but I don't know. It was just driving me crazy. I, I don't know if it's because the head and everything is so big and then the hand is so small or if it's just the position of the hand. But whatever it was, it, it was annoying the crap out of me and I had to change it. And I do, but later in the video. But yeah, sometimes there's just these little things that just you and that that was <laughs> that was really annoying me I went in with some Posca paint pens because I wanted that yellow to show up a little more. Like in the images, there is a yellow outline that was there when I printed the image. And I just wanted to give it a little bit more pop. One of my plants that I purchased, it looks like these little peas. The plant is actually called String of Pearls, and it is so cute. I wanted to alter the image even more, so I'm taking this um, Mischief Circus piece, and I'm just going to trace where the neckline should be, and I'm going to cut it so it looks like it's a shirt. One thing now, in my videos, you always see me wearing a sweater, but now that I'm upstairs, you may not see that so much anymore, because since I've moved upstairs, I haven't had to wear a sweater at all. I actually get to stay in my summer clothes. Usually before, as soon as I came home, I would change into like pants that were covering my legs completely, and a shirt and a sweatshirt and then even still sometimes I would have my heater on and it would be like so hot outside <laughs> and I'd be all bundled up so it's nice not having to deal with that anymore now I don't know what it'll be like in the winter but for now I'm actually getting to dress in season and stay that way Another nice thing about where my room is, if I ever order anything, I can see the 
delivery person from where I am in my room. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so now I'll really be stalking when uh, I order something. I'm just outlining some images in a black Posca pen. Sometimes I just like the look of it. it. I don't know. To me it makes it look more sketchy and I don't know if whimsical is the right word, but it just gives it a more loose fun feel to me anyway. And that's where I goofed. Tracing those fingers was a really bad idea. <laughs> really bad. And I could not let it go. Like, it, I just couldn't ignore it. I'm just making some more sketch lines with a Pigma Micron pen. Sometimes I like using the pen instead of the Posca paint pen because it's a finer line. So I feel, to me, it's easier to create just loose sketchy lines because it's thinner. So I don't know, I like the look of it. And sometimes I just like having the variety in the size of the lines. I mean, you could do this collage work and not add any outlining to it what, whatsoever. So here I just picked a quote on my Instagram. Like whenever I, I scroll through the feed on Instagram, if I find a quote that I really, really like, I save it and I have, like, you know how you can set up different, I don't know what to call it, folders, but I know it's not folders, but you know what I mean. You can have separate categories. So I have a category for my favorite quotes and then I'll have another one for, I don't know, just colors that inspire me or something like you know, and then I have one that's like, just because, like something that just makes me laugh so much. So, you know, you need a little pick me up and just go and watch that video that just makes you smile or makes you laugh your butt off. <laughs> so anyway, yes, I have a saved um, quotes category. And at the moment, I can't remember what this quote says, so I'll have to wait until I am done writing it out. And you can see the pencil line. So sometimes, like especially in this one here, because my space was, it was limited. And so I chose a shorter quote, but at the same time, I mean, there's still a lot of words that have to fit into that small area. So a lot of the time, I'll test it with pencil first. Like I'll just do a loose sketch of where the words can go. And sometimes I try to get really like fancy with my, not fancy, but you know, sometimes I'll put a lot of work into the quotes and sometimes I'll just do something quick and easy. It all depends on my mood or the space that I have on my page to do it.
And when I write my quotes, I also use different um, pens. Like they're all the Pigma Micron, but I'll use different sizes. Like I'll have a one and a three and a five and sometimes an eight. And I love going in with the white Pasca pen after. I mean, you could use a gel pen or the, can't think of the one that I always wreck somehow. Signal, I think that's what it's called. I love that one, I just can't make them last. And it's not the pen's fault, it's mine. I'm obviously doing something that wrecks them. Now you can see I'm able to wipe off that white paint pen right away. And I do believe that is because the page is coated with Mod Podge. So it has that bit of, you know, slickness and it's the same thing as adding like gel medium. So where that was on there and I did it right away, I was able to just wipe it clean. So the quote reads, never let your insecurities create thoughts that become lies that you believe. This is so true. I think we're all guilty of doing this from time to time. I love how the white just makes the quote pop. It's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> it's going in with that white marker. I was going to add doodles in this corner and then I started and I did something and I didn't like the look of it so I ended up just coloring it in completely. Which now I wish I actually left like that or just left it green. I think that's why sometimes it's important to take steps back sometimes. like. There's so many times that I'm watching a video and I'm like, you know, there was nothing wrong with that. You could have left that alone. Like, and I think if, like, if you feel you're getting annoyed or unsure and it's causing frustration when you're creating something, step away and wait until you're, like, relaxed and go back to it and have a look at it. Half the time, what was bothering you, it could be nothing anymore, or you may even like it. So sometimes you just need to rest your eyes and just walk away from, from it until you can tolerate it again. <laughs> sometimes we just need a break. And I just added the words, be kind to you. And now because that hand is driving me crazy and I couldn't let it go, I decided to cut out another one and I'm just going to glue it on top of that one. And I'm only going to do it to the one. I'm going to leave the other one as is. And it's not perfect, but honestly, it makes me happier than what is there right now. So I am going for it. So that is pretty much it for this page in my collage book. 
and hopefully I'll soon be able to get into playing more and like I really haven't been doing much of anything except for putting my room back together so I don't have a lot to share at the moment but hopefully I'll be back into the swing of things soon and get to play with my gel plate and try some different things there's so many things in my head that I want to do and just haven't gotten around to it so hopefully soon and then I'll have new videos to share with you so thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day bye